Leonardo is something of a hero in these parts. Not quite Spider-Man, but he's helping youngsters with similar problems to his own to feel closer to their superheroes. Like him, seven-year-old Diago was born missing a hand. It was all he wanted for Christmas. His parents, through Leonardo, found him one, but not just any hand. He gets a Spider-Man prosthetic. No longer a misfit, Tiago is now the envy of his friends. Leonardo was a victim of amniotic band syndrome, which affects babies still in the womb. With supportive parents, he's tried to never see it as a disability. People who have lost a hand often hide it, cover it up. They don't want to show it. What I do is take off the prosthetic and say, look, I'm not ashamed, I'm proud of who I am. It's sad not to have a hand, but it's sadder not to accept it. You must accept how you are. He developed an interest in robotics at a young age. Two years ago, aged just 14, he made his own replacement hand using a 3D printer. He's since made more than 60 fingers, hands and arms, charging less than $100 to cover materials, such as this biodegradable plastic. Artificial limbs in Bolivia, one of the poorest countries in the region, can cost between two to $3,000. What I always say is what the 3D printer takes 24 hours to finish can change the life of a person forever. Still only 16, his reputation growing in Bolivia and beyond, Leonardo plans to study biomedicine, to one day use bionics to control his left hand directly from his brain. Meanwhile, Tiago says he's going to use his new hand to play games he couldn't play before. No one else will have one of these. He'll be able to do so many things with it. I'm extremely grateful. So too are many across Bolivia, beneficiaries of Leonardo's dream. He simply wanted a hand, so he made one, using his initiative and what was available. Daniel Schweiner, Al Jazeera, Santa Cruz, Bolivia.